Agreeing to disagree is one of the silliest sayings I have ever heard. Let's just agree to disagree. Because it really means that you just disagree. And it's important to be able to disagree with somebody's methodology and training and still respect each other. Let's just disagree. When it comes to sharing my martial arts and my combatives, there are a lot of things that people say that disagree with what I'm showing or the methodologies in which I'm training. I have heard things like, you're training to murder when I'm doing these kind of Medusa drills. However, this is not something that we do that we want to apply as a self-defense technique. This is training for the absolute worst case scenario. Flow drills and things like the grouping systems from Balintawak get a lot of negativity. I love playing those drills. I see value in those drills. However, I also see that there's artistry in those drills and part of the reason I play them is just for the sheer fun of it. Things like Sinawali drills and double sticks have more to do with the art and training the body to be equally skilled on both sides or at least attempting to. And it's about balance. However, if you just judge on a drill's ability to directly be applied in self-defense or in violence, then the grouping systems and Sinawali drills don't really have as much value as, say, smashing a heavy bag and sparring, even sparring, though. There are so many different ways to spar that it seems like Everybody thinks that only their way is valid. Only the way they prefer has any validity. Only the systems that they train are valid. And this is a huge problem with martial arts. We should be able to discuss the technicalities of what we do and why we do it without any kind of negative feelings towards one another. There's no reason for this. It makes no sense. This is something we do instead of other hobbies. For some of us, for me, it becomes a lifestyle. And because of that, I can be very emotionally attached to the drills and the styles and what I'm doing because I believe in it. However, if I can't have a discussion about it without getting angry at somebody who doesn't believe the way I do, who has a different mindset and a different worldview, then how am I going to challenge my own beliefs? How am I going to be able to look at what I do and go, you know, there's a really valid point you're making here. And I have to consider that at the very least, or even change, you know, you can, you can actually change your opinions. However, nowadays, it seems that everybody is so stuck to what they do and what they feel is right that there is no movement on opinions. There is very little change and everybody has dug their heels in and we are becoming polarized in everything, not just politics, but in our martial arts, in our hobbies. You know, this is like two super fans from a different sports team having this bias towards their team and creating division amongst their peers, their friends, their family. This doesn't make sense to me. I don't think it's healthy for us to be so strongly attached to what we do in our martial arts, in our politics, in our, with our sports, with every opinion that we have. We need dialogue. As an instructor, if I want to be the best instructor I can be, I have to be able to listen to 
other people's opinions, to listen to new people's opinions, because often they look at situations in with different eyes than us old farts who've been doing it for so long that we are kind of stuck in our ways. So this whole idea that people are doing it wrong is a way of creating more division. However, if you say something like, I don't agree with your methodology there, don't you think that this might be a better way of training that? You might just give somebody a new way of doing things or a possibility of doing what they've been doing for a long time in a different way if they're open to hear you everything we do every discipline we do every opinion we have should be nuanced it shouldn't just be a simplistic attachment to what we've believed in the past otherwise we're stifling our growth now i look out there and i see all sorts of different camps on martial arts and even within one system of martial arts and this is true of politics this is true of so many different things right now everybody's pulled into a camp and dug their heels in and just aren't listening to one another we're not listening to hear each other and we're not being open to discussion Philosophers in the past had open forums and they would sit with students and they would let the students question them and answer the students' questions so that they could help each other grow. The student could help the philosopher grow. The philosopher could help the student grow. You know, people would have discussions. I remember my father when I was a child he was very politically involved and he and his friends would sit and discuss sometimes in um, quite a high volume of sound and quite passionately and disagree with each other yet never did it affect the friendships it's never would change the friendships. Now we're polarized in so many ways. Martial arts should not be like that. Martial arts should be something that people of all sorts of different disciplines can get together. And it should be beyond politics as well. It should be just about the martial arts. And if you think something is silly or stupid that other people do, you should stop and ask some questions. Why? What does it develop? What are you learning here? Why would you do that? It seems so violent. Why Why do you train for the worst case scenario? You know, all of these questions help the martial artist figure out why he or she is doing what they're doing. Questioning ourselves and letting other people question us is important. Unfortunately, we tend to exist in vacuum chambers with other people who share the same opinion, as opposed to growing together with people from different disciplines and different philosophical ideals, and maybe through that finding a new way or having a deeper understanding of why and what we do. Thank you.